everybody. Welcome to Capital of Combat. The name says it all. I'm Hakeem Branch. Roger Rowe. And today, we're going to cover a very, very packed fight week. This is the week of the big fight, which we're not going to cover in this video. But, we are going to cover this Friday's uh, PBC card that's happening on Spike, where we have Adonis Stevenson defending his light heavyweight title against Tommy Carpensi. And also on that card, you have Errol Spence against Chris Van Heerden. Um, that's going to be the main thing we talk about. But we have to mention what else is going on this week. Tuesday, we've got Austin Trout facing Joey Hernandez on Fox Sports 1, which, you know, Austin Trout's trying to get back into that uh, super welterweight, light middleweight contender status. He's a former champ. He's trying to get back. Joey Hernandez is a capable guy. Um, somebody that Trout can look good against, though. But lately, Trout has shown some vulnerability that hopefully he's worked on and can shine enough to get a title shot. Now, remember, in that stack division. Remember, he's gone. He's. I don't think he's in New Mexico anymore. He, I think he's training out of the uh, DMV, DC, yes, Maryland, he's Virginia. With, uh, Barry Hunter. Now. Barry Hunter. Yeah, yeah. he's he's at head, Headbangers. I told some people they were like, "Oh, really." I didn't know, and that's they're up in the DMV area. So yeah, yeah. so they're working on some things to uh, one be a more aggressive and stronger puncher. But of course, when you're more offensive, that leaves you a little open sometimes. That's right. Mm -hmm. So those are things we have to look out for that one. So be on the lookout for that card on Tuesday. On Thursday, um, we're not sure if it's televised or not, but Zab Judah is fighting as well. Um, against no one of real consequence but if you're a fight fan and you mm -hmm. like to watch people fight and you're a fan of Zab Judah because sometimes he shows up and looks great and sometimes he shows up and lays an egg you never know with him exactly but you know if you're a fight fan you're gonna watch anyway because it's a fight and I think it's in Brooklyn and we know Zab ain't trying to look bad in Brooklyn it's not in Brooklyn mm -hmm. but it's in New York it's in New York but you still New York he's from Brooklyn he ain't trying to look bad because his people will come out. Yeah, and Friday night on True TV is Chris Avalos fighting and um, who else is fighting on Friday night on True TV? Uh, Mike Reed. That's right. And Jesse Hart and Aaron Pryor Jr. Aaron Pryor Jr. Three good uh, fight, well, one good fight and two other good fighters that are in separate bouts. Um, that's another thing that's going to air opposite of the Showtime card that we're going to start covering right now. Um, first up, they've got Errol Spence stepping up against the best fighter that he's fought so far. Spike TV. Spike TV, what did I say? You said uh, Showtime. This is Adonis Stevenson, Carpensi, Spence, and Payne Heerden is on Spike TV. Yeah. Don't want you turning to the wrong channel. Thanks, Rob. Mm -hmm. Um... Chris Van Heeren is South African, correct? Yes. Um, he's fought a a who's who of guys in the 140 and 147 division. He's fought, uh, uh, what's my man, Kaiser Mabuza, who um, is actually an underrated guy. Mm -hmm. He's fought, um, who did he? Um, he's fought Matthew Hatton. Matthew Hatton. He's fought, um, if you know the names, Ray Nar, and it was Ray Nar and... It was one more that was a pretty decent name. Yeah. And I'm not going to go to the computer, but he's for some guys who are not really journeymen, but they're always there to provide a good fight. Fringe contenders. Fringe. Yeah. That's the name for them. They're, they're guys. Uh, Kaiser Mabuza actually was a titleist at 140 at one point. Right. And Zab took the title from, from him. him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so in Van Heeren, we have a very very telling test for Errol Spence Jr. He has shown that he is the goods so far. Mm -hmm. um, Phil Logreco, his last opponent, was a very decent fighter, but he was coming off a long layoff. And he was a late, um, replacement. late replacement as well. So with Van Heerden, they have a little bit longer to prepare. Um, so he should come in a little bit more ready. So this will tell how good Spence is at this point. Um, really to find stuff that he needs to work on, you really have to look hard because the kid looks really good. He's yeah. got the power. He's got the speed. It looks like he's got the poise. 
we just have to find if anyone can bring out anything to show what other intangibles he has. Now, how how much or how uh, highly are they thinking about him? Well, Mayweather has really been endorsing the kid. Mm -hmm. And not to compare, Sorry. but he has been endorsing him just as much, if not more, than Adrian Broner. He's been trying to set up a fight with or trying to get Errol Spence, who is 15 and 0, if I'm not mistaken, in there versus the Keith Thurmans and Sean Porter's, you know. Right. Which means he thinks extremely high of him, and he has shown that he is a good. But before he goes up to those guys, we need to see him against a guy who presents a different set of challenges. Again, I'm not saying that he's unknown, but he's not bad at all. I think this is a, a guy in uh, Van Eerden who's going to give him some trouble. Not only is he South African, but he's like 5'11", as well as being a Southpaw. Yeah, and Spence is a Southpaw as well. And so he's probably grown up, like, because he has a, a very extensive amateur background, mm -hmm. he should have seen a lot of Southpaws, and he's probably seen some tall ones as well. But the pro ranks and the amateur ranks are very, very different. So you get those uh, eight ounce gloves on, you get a little bit more crafty fighters. And Spence has been showing that he's been stepping up each time. So I'm expecting him to have a little bit of trouble figuring it out. And Van Heeren has not been stopped, correct? He has not been stopped. He's only had one loss uh, early in his career and that was a split decision. Right. So, I think we're going to find out how, like, if Spence can stop him and look impressive doing so against someone who hasn't been stopped before, has a pretty good record, it says a lot. So, that's what we're looking at for that fight. Where is Spence right now in his development? Is he ready for the Keith Thurmans and the Sean Porters? Or should they keep moving him against the French contenders and the guys who are uh, just getting there, maybe the smaller titleists, um, if he's on that level. That's what we're looking for to find out with this fight. That's right. All right, so moving on to the main event, we've got Adonis Superman Stevenson defending the light heavyweight title against Tommy Carpensi. Now, Carpensi just finished a trilogy fight with, uh, I believe it was Rako Saunders. Uh, he lost the first time to him, beat him two more times, and that was following upsetting Chad Dawson. Now, in the Dawson fight, that was the first time I heard or seen Carpensi. He lost to Fonfara, mm -hmm. and I believe that was by knockout. Yep. Um, he's also fought Carl Morat. He's fought. Um, he's also fought a good amount of people in the light heavyweight division. People with names Carl Morat's a fight. Uh, Former titleist, um, Fonfara is a contender, and he's fought um, Adonis Stevenson. So, if I'm right. not mistaken, yeah, and a few he others. He took Adonis Stevenson to the brink. You're talking about uh, Fonfara, right? Yeah, yeah. So he's fought some good names as well. Um, honestly, I don't know how he ended up getting this title shot, but he's got it, and he's got to make the most of it. Carpensi has some pretty decent hand speed. He's a southpaw. He's a little tricky. But the thing I don't like about him is he keeps that front leg really, really stiff. So it kind of limits his mobility and his ability to turn into hooks and uh, punches of that nature. So I'm not looking for him to give Adon Stevenson too much trouble. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't have a lot of power which against someone like Adonis Stevenson, it's not a good thing. And if you have that stiff front leg, that's probably why you're not generating a lot of power. Just a little tidbit to you guys who want to increase your power. A stiff leg does not help. <laughs> exactly. Um, he's also has, as shown in the Dawson fight, a propensity to get hit by the straight left. Guess what Adonis Stevenson's best punch is? That might be a straight left now, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. That's going to be a problem. And and one of the things, because that's the front leg. 
it's one of those things where we always talk about the footwork and your legs being just as poor as important as throwing punches because if they're not correct you won't be able to throw your punches correctly either and that is what's going to lose him this fight um and i don't think it's going to be it's not going to take long either mm -hmm. i'm taking stevenson within the first four rounds because stevenson usually comes out pretty fast and if he's getting hit with lefts, the way he can sneak that in, he's very smart in getting that left hand in. He can bait you into it. He can create angles and throw it. Or he can just throw it at you. And either way, it lands. And he's already proven that most of the time what he hits, he destroys. A little uh, Rocky reference there. That's right. But... Adonis Stevenson is underrated technically. And like I said, he can set some traps for that left hand. And I think that's how he's going to stop Carpensi. He's going to set him up, bait him in, hit him with a straight left. Good night, great fights. What you got? Got nothing else. That's all we got for you. You got a, a nice little Friday night burst of all Southpaws coming to you. So if you need to see how Southpaw fights or you need a little bit of tips and you want to watch Friday night's uh, spike, spike fights. Mm. Yeah, Friday night lights out mm. is what they call that series. They got kickboxing, MMA, and boxing um, on there. So if you love combat sports like we do, look at all of it. But um, if you guys have anything you want to add to this video, hit us up in the comment section. Uh, make sure you like this video. Um, make sure you subscribe to us if you have not. You can hit us up on Facebook, Capital Combat, Google Plus, same name. You can hit us up uh, Instagram now, Capital Combat. And uh, if you want to be in the combat mailbag, have any questions for us, comment section, Facebook, email, just hit us up, ask the question. We'll get you in the combat mailbag. And we'll see you in the next episode. Peace. This is round one, and you've already lost They don't seem to see that everything we've done is coming and cost My fists are on fire, I perform till I perspire My demons are in a rage, keep thinking that it's a game I kick round hurricane, I told them I don't play I'm liquid, Black Street Fighter, Street Fighter.